Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a complex system with Z and W. Now we have Z plus 1 plus I times W equals 1 and 1 minus I times Z plus I W equals 1. So this is kind of like a sort of like a linear system of equations so we can use those same methods, right? Obviously, you could also replace Z with A plus PI, which is the name of this channel, by the way, and W with C plus DI, and then solve for A, B, C, D, but that would be really, really painful. I mean, I guess you can call that first method, and we can go ahead and just proceed with the second method. At least you get the idea. Okay, let me know how that goes if you ever try it. So I'm going to start with the second method because we, we already talked about the first method. So the, in the second method, I'm going to use substitution because substitution is awesome. And looking at these two equations, I noticed that Z is very easy to isolate from the first equation. So I'm going to subtract 1 plus I times W from 1 to get Z by itself. And then I'm going to substitute that into the second equation. That's how substitution works, right? Okay, great. Let's go ahead and do it. We're going to replace z with 1 minus 1 plus i w and then multiply by 1 minus i and then add i w to it and that's going to equal 1. Now these two equations are both equal to 1 so you could also set them equal to each other. Put the z's on one side and w's on the other side and kind of get a proportion. I guess that could be the fourth method. I don't know but that w should probably work too. So anyways um, this is equal to 1 because both equations are equal to that. And let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. And while simplifying, be careful. Multiply the 1 minus i by 1 as a quantity. So it's going to be 1 minus i. And then multiply it by 1 plus i. Remember, those are conjugates. When you multiply two complex conjugates, you get sum of two squares. Remember that? That's always a real number. And that's going to be minus, because there's a minus sign here, 2, right? So it's going to be minus 2w. Make sense? plus IW equals 1. The cool thing about it is 1 cancels out. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And now we're going to go ahead and put the terms that contain W on one side and everything else on the other side. Let's go ahead and isolate, put uh, the W terms on the right hand side. So it's kind of like 2W minus IW. And then we can go ahead and factor out W here and write it as W times 2 minus I equals negative I. Since we're trying to solve for W, we should divide both sides by 2 minus I. Let's go ahead and do it. And to be able to complete this division problem, we need to use conjugate. So, in other words, W equals negative I over 2 minus I. Let's go ahead and now multiply this by 2 plus I over 2 plus I, which is 1, by the way. And then from here... After distributing, we're going to get negative 2i minus i squared, but i squared is negative 1, so it's going to be 1 minus 2i divided by 4 plus 1 from sum of 2 squares again, which is 5. So that's the value for w. What is z, right? Well, you can either plug w into one of these equations, doesn't matter, or just use this formula. I find this easier. z can be written as 1 minus... 1 minus 1 plus i times w, right? This is what we substituted into one of the equations, remember? And we do know w. So now we can go ahead and substitute that here to get z. 1 minus 1 plus i times 1 minus 2i over 5. And then we'll just make a common denominator, write this as 1 over 1, and then make it 5 over 5. So z will be 5 minus 1 plus i times 1 minus 2i all over 5. And let's go ahead and simplify this. If you multiply these two complex numbers, this is what you're going to get. 1 times 1 is going to be, what was that? Okay, if you multiply the two complex numbers, you're going to get 1 times 1, which is 1. And then i times negative 2i is going to be positive 2. So to 1 plus 2 is going to be a 3. So... That's going to be 3, and then we'll get negative 2i plus i, which is minus i, divided by 5. And that's going to give you 2 plus i 
divided by 5. But we got for w, we got 1 minus 2i over 5. So that's going to be our solution, ordered pair, or whatever you want to call that. Okay? So those are going to be the z and w values. Since this is a linear system, we only have one pair of values. Make sense? Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the third method. Remember, the first one was kind of a little painful, replacing z with a plus pi and w with c plus di. So this is the third method. And for my third method, let me rewrite the uh, equations. I have 1 minus i times z plus iw equals 1. I'm going to use elimination. Elimination is a really cool method, especially when the coefficients are nice. In this case, they're not very nice, but that's okay. So here's what we can do. I think getting rid of the w is going to be harder because z, notice that z has a coefficient of 1 here. So what I can do is I can multiply z by the opposite of 1 minus i, which is i minus 1. Okay, let's go ahead and multiply this first equation, not the second, by i minus 1. Everywhere, of course, don't forget that, right? Let's go ahead and do it. We're going to get z times i minus 1 plus i minus 1 times 1 plus i. So how do you multiply those two things? I would probably just put a minus sign here to negate it and write it as one minus 1 plus i times 1 minus i, which is going to give me a 2. I can also write it this way if you want. Okay, and then that'll be i minus 1. And the second equation is just going to have z times 1 minus i. By the way, these two are opposites, so they're going to cancel out. Plus i w equals 1. Awesome. So these two cancel out, and then we end up with something for w. Let's see. Remember, this is going to be 1 plus i and 1 minus i. That's going to give you a 2. So we're going to get negative 2w equals i minus 1, and i w equals 1. If you add these equations now, 1 is going to cancel out, and we're going to end up with the same thing, i minus 2 times w equals i, and then you can just say w equals i over i minus 2. But notice that the conjugate for i minus 2 is not i plus 2. You're supposed to change the complex or the imaginary part. So that's it's better to write it as negative i over 2 minus i. That way you can quickly realize, oh, okay, I'm supposed to multiply by 2 plus i. So don't be afraid to change the numerator and denominator, uh, whatever works for you, and then we're going to get the exact same answers from here. w is just going to be negative 2i minus i squared, which is 1 minus 2i, and at the bottom we're going to have 5. And then by substitution, let's go ahead and cheat. Uh, z is going to be 2 plus i, we already did that, right, over 5. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.